Good morning. Today is April 3rd, 2020, Thursday. Um, we are going to talk about the meaning of the vocabulary words for the reading. Um, we are going to review sequence. So I'm going to show you some words that show sequence. I will show a short clip of what is stop motion animation because that is what the reading is about for today. And I will tell you the two tasks for today that you have to do. Okay, so um, let's discuss the meaning of the vocabulary words first. I want you guys to say the words with me. Um, so the first word is animation. Animation. Can you say that word? Say it one more time, please. Good job. Okay, the second word is motion. Motion. Say that one more time. Say it again. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the next word, tripod. Tripod. Say it again. Say it one more time. Very good. The next word is edit. Edit. Can you say that one more time? Repeat it again. Good job. The next word is action figures. Action figures. Can you say that one more time? Say it again. Awesome. Okay, the next word is stuffed animal. Stuffed animal. Say it one more time. Say it again. Good job. The next word is illusion. Illusion. Say it one more time. Say it again, please. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the next word, background. Background. Can you say that one more time? Say it again. Very good. Okay, the next one is series of photos. Series of photos. Can you say that one more time? Say it again, please. Very good. And the last word is zoom in. Zoom in. Repeat that one more time. Say that again, please. Excellent. Okay, so let me show some pictures of what that is. Um, animation, I will show that later. Motion is just basically another word for movement, okay? When something is in motion, it's in movement or the object or person moves tripod is basically this so if you have a, a camera the camera stand would be a tripod okay action figures would be like toys that you buy usually there are toys from a show or a movie like spider-man captain america or batman those are action figures stuff animals the most popular one is a teddy bear but you can have different kinds of stuff animals uh, background on the movie, so when you have a movie, it's actually called a green screen, okay? And they can put any picture uh, that they want um, or a scene or place from any other country behind it, okay? So this would be the background, which is in the White House, but it could be a background of a mountain or a background of a house, Series of photos is kind of like this, okay? So when we're talking about um, series of photos, uh, basically it would be things or events, in this case, uh, or photos that happen one after the other, okay? So this would be explained some more later when uh, we read the story or the um, information about the stop uh, motion animation. Um, zoom in. If you have a camera, let's say this is far, to zoom in is you're trying to make it closer so you can see everything. Um, another thing that you would see is the title, okay? These are just words you see in the scenes of the movie, okay? Okay, um, other words that um, we need to talk about. Illusion. Uh, something that is false or not real, but seems to be true or real, 
okay? So, for example, magic is an illusion, right? Um, it seems like it's real, but when you actually study magic, they are basically showing you something false or not real, but it looks real to you, okay? And then edit is, the, is a word that means to change, move, or uh, remove parts of a film. Uh, photo or recording. Sometimes it can be uh, about an essay. If your teacher says edit your essay, that means you have to change your essay. Um, but for film, photo, or recording, it can mean change, move, or remove parts, okay? So um, before we read, and the reading would be um, in the second video as well as the question. So before we read a uh, stop-motion animation, I want to show you guys um, what uh, stop-motion animation is, okay? So we will watch like a quick video clip explaining this. So animation is this, what you watch in cartoons, okay? Or like a 3D animation, like, you know, Pixar movies, like Finding Nemo, that's animation, okay? Stop motion, sometimes called stop frame, is an animation technique that's existed for over 100 years. Filmmakers realized early on that they could create amazing illusions by stopping and starting their cameras. <laughs> Objects, clay, puppets, and even people can be animated. The principles are always the same. Place something in front of a camera and take a picture. Move it slightly and take another picture. Do this a bunch more times. When you string these images together, the object appears to move. Typically, 12 frames create one second of stop motion animation. By varying the amount you change the object between frames, you can make it appear to move slower or faster. This is the most basic principle of animation. Puppets are a little more complicated to animate because they have so many moving parts. A puppet must be flexible, but able to hold any pose for an extended period of time. Inside is a strong skeleton made of aluminum wire or specially engineered joints. This is called an armature. Even a puppet's clothing usually has wire in it so it can hold gravity-defying poses. Most puppets can't stand by themselves. They must be screwed to the set or supported by a rig that is digitally erased later. Some puppets Okay, so that's going more technical or advanced. Um, if you guys want to know more about it, if you go to YouTube, you can type what is stop motion animation and how does it work from Mashable, and then you can watch the whole video, okay? But for now, I just want you guys to know what animation is. So basically, it's a movement that is an illusion, okay? So in the next video, I will read the reading and tell you your task for today, as well as show you list of sequence words. Until the next video, guys.